I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from a young viewer who wants to know my thoughts on the works of Charles Stross, particularly his tale Equoid. Now, I had the distinct pleasure of getting to meet and speak with Charles Stross when we both were guests at the H.P. Lovecraft Film Festival, the most recent iteration of which now has tickets for sale, both in person and virtually. If you're interested in watching the conversation that we had or finding out more about this film festival, you can find information embedded in the description of this video. Now, I have been profoundly impressed by the works of Mr. Strauss, his, his Colder War story or the, the Laundry Files. All of them are truly remarkable in how they're able to, to blend the, the elegant technical specificity of science fiction with the macabre grotesquerie of the penny dreadful, and Equoid is no exception. Except in one regards. While many of Mr. Strauss's stories uh, include homage or pastiche of my mythos, Equoid goes a step further and includes me as a character, albeit a, an off-screen one, only uh, present through my letters, which of course is itself a nod to many of my stories. In depicting me, Mr. Strauss takes a few liberties. Uh, for one thing, he falls into a trap which many have over the years, which suggests that I did not come up with my monster's whole cloth out of my own imagination or inspiration, but rather that I was witness to some horrific, real, nightmarish, eldritch entities and are jotting down as a journalist all that I have seen or spied, which I think undercuts by creative status somewhat, but I recognize that you're trying to create a world in which entities such as Jogniggeroth or Azathoth are real, and as such you have to play around a bit. I, I don't find it too excessively. After all, I certainly have seen far more insulting and much less realistic depictions of myself out there. Now, as uh, for your question about my thoughts on how unicorns are portrayed in this story, well, that's the play, and he wouldn't want us to give it away. Not Charlie. Not Charlie Strauss, the demon writer of wherever he lives. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you. Thank you.